Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a new military video. Today I want to discuss with you about the Navy and to be precise amphibious assault ships. This is a kind of ship employed to land and support ground forces on enemy territory by an amphibious assault. They may be mistaken for conventional fixed wing aircraft carriers, but they are actually really different in role and capabilities. They are designed to operate helicopters and amphibious landing craft, with most designs including our deck. But some amphibious assault ships also support VS tall fixed wing aircraft, now having a secondary role as aircraft carriers. In this list we will analyze the 10 best and the biggest of them. Let's start with the number 10, the Yuga class from Japan. The first ship of this class was commissioned in 2009 and we have two of them active in this moment. The cost is 700 million dollars and it has a displacement of 19,000 tons. The length is 197 meters with a beam of 33 meters. We can find a complement of 370 people. For the performance it can reach a speed above 30 knots and a range of above 10,000 kilometers. The propulsion is achieved by a combination of gas and gas with four gas turbines with a total power of 100,000 HP. The armament mostly needed for self-defense is composed by 12.7mm machine guns, two 20mm phalanx sieves, sieves stands for close-in weapon system, 16 RIM-162 ASSM VLS, VLS stands for vertical launch system, and 12 RUM-139 ASROC VLS. Then for the electronics we can find an advanced technology command system, combat direction system, surface search radar, anti-air warfare system, anti-submarine warfare system and electronic warfare suite. The ship has a flight deck of 6000 square meters, with two elevators and three aircraft parking on the deck. Inside we can find an hangar deck with 3000 square meters of space, but we don't find a well deck for the amphibious operations, that's why this ship is so low in the list, because this is one of the most important characteristics for this kind of ship. It can transport a maximum of 18 aircraft made by a combination of AH-64D Apache, SH-60 Seahawk or MCH-101 helicopters. At the ninth spot we can find the Izumo class, again from Japan. The first ship of this class was commissioned in 2015, with two of them active in this moment. The cost is 1 billion dollars, with a displacement of 27,000 tons. It has a length of 248 meters, a beam of 38 meters and a complement of 970 people. It can reach a maximum speed of 30 knots and a range above 12,000 km. The propulsion, also in this case, is achieved by a combination of gas and gas with two gas turbines having a total power of 112,000 HP. For the armament we can find two 20mm phalanx sieves, again sieves stands for closing weapon system, and two RIM-116 RAM. The RAM are anti-missiles missiles. Ok, I know it sounds weird, but it is what it is. For the electronics we can find an AESA 3D radar, a surface radar, a fire control, a bow sonar, electronic warfare seat, decoy launchers and a torpedo decoy. The Izuma has a larger fly deck compared to the previous ship with 8000 square meters, we still have two elevators, five aircraft parking on the fly deck and an internal hangar deck with 2600 square meters. Moreover we can find another vehicle cargo deck with 3500 square meters. Also in this case we can find a well deck. And that's why also this ship is so low in this list because otherwise would be quite higher, probably around more or less the half of the list. But let's continue. It can transport a maximum of 28 aircraft and very interesting in this case we find not only helicopters like the SH-60K Seahawk or the MCH-101 but also planes, in this case F-35B Lightning II fighters. They are VS tall machines, VS tall stands for vertical and short takeoff and landing. Something really necessary on a ship of these dimensions because remember this is not a fixed wing aircraft carrier. This kind of ship cannot operate aircraft without this capability, so it's very important. 
The next ship on the list is quite interesting. We have the Atlantico from Brazil and the UK. It's very interesting because the ship was initially adopted by UK as an helicopter carrier and then sold to Brazil. It was commissioned in 1998 with a cost of $120 million. It has a displacement of 21,500 tons with a length of 203 meters and a beam of 35 meters. The complement is higher than 460 people. It can reach a maximum speed of 18 knots, not really fast, and a range of 13,000 km. The propulsion is achieved by standard diesel engines. For the armament we can find 8 12.7mm machine guns, 4 7.62mm miniguns and 2 30mm MK2 Sius. The electronic is a little bit outdated, we can find a standard artisan radar, navigation radar, air control radar, electronic warfare suite, decoy launchers and the surface ship torpedo defense. The ship has a flight deck of 6000 square meters with two elevators and two aircraft parking. We don't have a precise information about the hangar, cargo and well deck dimensions, but they are present, so this is enough for now because it can operate landing force. In fact, we know it can transport a total of 40 landing force that can be uh, main battle tanks, trucks, APC, IFV and other land machine and how it can can transport them from the ship to the land, simply adopting assault amphibious vehicles, in this case the LCVP MK5. Then we know it can transport a maximum of 18 aircraft with a combination of EC725, S70B Seahawk or AS350. At the seventh spot we can find the Dok Dok class from South Korea. The first ship of the class was commissioned in 2007 with two of them active. The cost is 280 million dollars with a displacement of 19,500 tons. It has a length of 199 meters and a beam of 31 meters with a complement of 1,050 people. It can reach a maximum speed of 23 knots, a range of 18,500 kilometers, while the propulsion is achieved by a combination of diesel and diesel with four diesel engines that can achieve a total power of 32,000 HP. For the armament we can find four 12.7mm machine guns, two 30mm CUs, 16 KSM VLS and one RIM 116 RAM. For the electronics we can find an AESA radar, a surface AESA radar, navigation radar, IRST that stands for infrared search and track, electronic warfare suite and decoy launchers. Then we can find a flight deck with a dimension of 6000 square meters with two elevators and five aircraft parking. The hangar deck has a dimension of 2800 square meters with a well deck of 800 square meters. It can transport a landing force of 30 machines that can be transported by landing craft air cushions or assault amphibious vehicles. The Dog Dog class can also transport up to 15 aircraft with a combination of UH-1H, UH-60P, Super Lynx and we can also find VTOL support, so this ship can already be operated by F-35s for example. At the sixth spot we find the Mistral class from France. The first ship of the class was commissioned in 2005 with five of them active now. It has a cost of 450 million dollars with a displacement of 21,500 tons. It has a length of 199 meters with a beam of 32 meters. Then we have a complement of 160 people. It can reach a speed of 19 knots, a range of 10,800 kilometers, while the propulsion is achieved by diesel engines with three diesel alternators and one diesel alternator for reserve. For the armament we can find four 12.7mm machine guns, two 7.62mm miniguns, two 30mm CCUs, two 20mm remote weapon systems and two SAM launchers. SAM stands for surface to air missiles. For the electronic we can find an air search radar, a surface radar and an air navigation radar. The ship has a flight deck of 6400 square meters with two elevators and six aircraft parking. Inside we can find an hangar deck of 1,800 square meters, a vehicle cargo deck of 2,650 square meters and a well deck of 885 square meters. It can transport a landing force of 60 machines that can be transported by landing craft air cushions, CTM landing craft utility and either R LCAT. The ship is also capable of transporting up to 35 aircraft with a combination of Eurocopter Tiger, Westland Lynx, Cougar, NH-90, Puma or Panther helicopters. 
At the fifth spot we can find the Type 075 from China. We started the top 5 with a really weird machine because it has a lot of potentiality, but with the missing information was impossible to give it an higher position. But let's check. It was commissioned in 2021, we don't know uh, the cost of the ship, but we know the displacement is around 40,000 tons, with a length of 237 meters and a beam of 36 meters. The complement should be around 2,300 people. So just from here, we can notice that it's quite big compared to the previous ships. It can reach a speed above 20 knots and a range above 15,000 km. The propulsion is achieved by diesel engines with a total power around 40,000 HP. Then for the armament we can find 12.7mm machine guns, two 30mm CCUs and two HQ-10 SAM launcher. Again, SAM stands for surface wire missiles. For the electronics we can find air search radar, surface search radar, fire control, electronic warfare suite, decoy launchers and the torpedo decoy. The flight deck has a dimension of 8,500 square meters with two elevators and nine aircraft parking. We don't have the exact dimension of the hangar deck, vehicle cargo deck and well deck, but we know they are present, that's good. And for the landing force we know that it should be able to transport more than 50 machines. Also in this case we don't know the exact number. These machines can land thanks to the landing craft air cushions or assault amphibious vehicles. We also know it can transport more than 30 aircraft with a combination of Z8, Z9, Z10 or Z19 helicopters. At the fourth spot we can find the Juan Carlos I from Spain. The ship was commissioned in 2010 with a cost of 480 million dollars. It has a displacement of 26,000 tons, a length of 231 meters with a beam of 32 meters, and a complement higher than 450 people. It can reach a maximum speed of 21 knots and a range of 17,000 kilometers. The propulsion is achieved by a combination of diesel, electric and gas. We can in fact find a gas turbine with 26,500 HP of power, and two diesel generators with 21,000 HP of power. For the armament we have four 12.7mm machine guns and four 20mm CCUs. For the electronics we can find air search radar, surface radar, air navigation radar, electronic warfare suite and decoy launchers. The ship has a flight deck of 6,500 square meters, two elevators, six aircraft parking and a runway with a sky jump, very useful for aircraft that we'll check very soon. Inside we can find an hangar deck of 1,000 square meters, a cargo deck with 3,300 square meters and a well deck of 1,164 square meters. It can transport a landing force of uh, more than 50 machines and they can reach the land thanks to landing craft air cushions, landing craft utility and assault amphibious vehicles. The ship can also transport a maximum of 30 aircraft with a combination of fighters and helicopters. For the helicopters we can find Aerocopter Tiger, SH-3D Sea King and NH-90, while for the fighters we have AV-8B Harrier 2 or F-35B Lightning 2. As we have seen before both of them have the capability of a short takeoff and vertical landing very important for this kind of ship. And we start the top 3 with the Trieste from Italy, my country, yay! The ship will be commissioned in 2022 with a cost of 1.2 billion dollars. It has a displacement of 33,000 tons, a length of 245 meters and a beam of 47 meters. For the complement we have 1,064 people. It can reach a maximum speed of 25 knots and a maximum range of 13,000 kilometers. For the propulsion we can find a combination of diesel or gas. In fact we can find two gas turbines with 102,000 HP, two diesel engines with 32,000 HP, four diesel generators with 28,000 HP and two electric engines with 3,000 HP. For the armament we have four 12.7mm machine guns, three 76mm AA guns, AA stands for anti-air guns, three 25mm KBA ACUs and 16 A50 VLS. For the electronics we have an AESA 3D radar, an AESA air radar, an air navigation radar, a fire control, electronic warfare suite, decoy launchers and torpedo decoy. The ship has a flight deck of 8,300 square meters with two elevators, nine aircraft parking and a runway with a sky jump. 
very useful for fighters. Inside we have a hangar deck of 2600 square meters, a cargo deck of 990 meters and a well deck of 750 square meters. It can transport a landing force with more than 50 machines that can land tanks to landing craft air cushions, landing craft utility and assault amphibious vehicles. The ship can also transport more than 30 aircraft with a combination of F-35B Lightning II fighters, AW-129D, AW-101, SH-90A and EH-101 Merlin helicopters. At the second spot we can find the WASP class from United States of America. The first ship was commissioned in 1989, with seven of them active now. It has a cost of $1.9 billion, with a displacement of 41,150 tons. It has a length of 253 meters, a beam of 32 meters and a complement above 2,700 people. It can reach a maximum speed of 22 knots and a range of 70,600 kilometers. For the propulsion we can find the steam or gas depending on the ship because the oldest still use steam while the newer gas. In fact we can find steam boilers for the oldest and gas turbines for the newer, both of them with 70,000 HP of power. For the armament we can find 4 12.7mm machine guns, 3 20mm Phanlax CUs, 4 25mm chain guns, 2 RIM-162 ASSM launcher and 2 RIM-116 RAB. For the electronics we have a 2D air search radar, a 3D air search radar, surface search radar, fire control, electronic warfare suite, decoy launchers and torpedo decoy. The WASP class has a flight deck of 8500 square meters with two elevators and nine aircraft parking. Inside we can find an hangar deck with 2860 square meters, a vehicle cargo deck with 4700 square meters and a well deck of 1230 square meters. It can transport a landing force of more than 60 machines that can land tanks to landing craft air cushions, landing craft utility and assault amphibious vehicles. Then it can transport more than 30 aircraft with a combination of AV-8B Harrier II and F-35B Lightning II fighters and AH-1Z Viper, MV-22B Osprey, CH-53 Super Stallion, UH-1 Venom and MH-6ES Nighthawk helicopters. And we complete this top 10 with the first position, the America class from United States of America. The first ship of the class was commissioned in 2014, with two of them active now. It has a cost of $3.4 billion, is quite expensive, with a displacement of 45,700 tons. It has a length of 257 meters with a beam of 32 meters. For the complement we can find more than 2,700 people. It can reach a maximum speed of more than 20 knots, a range of 8 18,500 kilometers and the propulsion is achieved by a combination of diesel electric or gas. In fact we have two gas turbines with a total power of 7,000 HP and two auxiliary engines with a total power of 5,000 HP. For the armament we have seven dual 12.7 mm machine guns, two 20 mm Phalax CUs, two RIM-162 ASSM launchers and two RIM-116 RAM. For the electronics also in this case we have a 2D air radar, 3D air search radar, surface search radar, fire control, ship self-defense system, electronic warfare suite and two decoy launchers. The America class flight deck has a dimension of 8500 square meters with two elevators and more than 10 aircraft parking spots. Inside we have an hangar deck of 3200 square meters, a vehicle cargo deck of 4500 square meters and a well deck of 1000 square meters. It can transport a landing force of more than 50 machines that also in this case can land thanks to landing craft air cushions, landing craft utility and assault amphibious vehicles. What about the aircraft? It can transport more than 30 of them with a combination of AV-8B Harrier II and F-35B Lightning II fighters and the same helicopters of the previous one, so AH-1Z Viper, V-22 Osprey, CH-53 Super Stallion, UH-1 Venom and MH-16 Nighthawk. And also this top 10 finish here, I hope you enjoyed the video, if yes remember to leave a like and also check the other videos like this one that you can find clicking in the right top corner or checking the caption of the video. Remember to leave me a comment and let me know what you think about these machines and also if you agree or not with the list. And if not, why not?
maybe I made some kind of mistake, let me know. Moreover, with your comment, you can also suggest me the argument of the next video. So don't be shy and let me know what you want to see next. And that's all. See you again in the next video. Bye.